Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and this is the third update regarding S-Bank Limited and as we said, uh, this is the S-Bank latest news and I think before starting this video, I, I just want to confirm to my friends is that uh, several media people of several YouTube channels are saying that S-Bank is closed simply saying S-Bank is demolished, there is no S-Bank I think uh, they are trying to say that there is no existence of S-Bank you should remember that it is a finance institution which is governed by RBI which is not a simple company to set up and close easily because closing of finance institution will impact the economic a lot level so S-Bank Limited has been continuing a lot and one Third reason that has been happened in S Bank Limited is that the board has been taken, the current board of directors has been taken away, and the S Bank has placed under a moratorium. Within a 30 days of this plan, a new board has been set up. So, in this video, friends, we are going to see who are the key persons employed in this formation of board and what will be their purpose role and what they are going to do and what is the final result of this, friends and this is the starting news they are given that and they are also given already in, intimated on the stock exchanges on 5th March 2020 the Reserve Bank of India has wide released the 5th March superseded the board of directors of S Bank Limited so the latest news about S Bank Limited is the board of directors has been taken away and they have appointed Sri Prashant Kumar as the administrator of S Bank Limited in the sections applicable. So people may ask me who is Sri Prashant Kumar. I think the person who are the appointed Sri Prashant Kumar is one of the top level executives of State Bank of India Limited, which is simply a government bank and as you know it's the largest PUC bank and as well as the largest bank in India with a lot amount of customer base and followers. And Sri Prashant Kumar is the top level executive, one of the top level executives of this State Bank of India. And also they said that I mean the latest update regarding this S Bank Limited as prescribed by this uh, director they said that we wish to inform the administrator will consider and take on record that 9 month ended and 31st result I mean the quarter third results on Saturday March 14, 2020 so March 14, 2020 as they said the last date the result is gonna be on March 14, 2020 that means from now, if you think guys, from the 7th of March, so 14th of March means just one week away, the last one week trade for S Bank Limited in order to initiate the quarter third results. And for prevention of insider trading, they have designated the person still March 16, 2020. The same is also hosted on the bank website S Bank in Dartin. So how this news is going to impact the S Bank Limited share price. Now that is a question, friends. Now basically, you should think already impact has caused havoc, cost cross, and everything has a, that has caused in S Bank Limited. And people are lucky enough to buy this share at a single digit. I think we missed the hell a lot of opportunity to buy this share at that level. We didn't able to buy, and also we didn't know about this situation that has happened in a chaos like this. And also, you should note that S Bank Limited. It now going to be taken over by State Bank of India Limited. Once all this process is going to be taken over, the minority stake is with the State Bank of India. That means 14 percentage of stake is within the State Bank of India. So the it, it going to be the latest S Bank Limited is not the old S Bank Limited because the board has been taken away, the shareholding pattern has changed, and everything that has changed in S Bank Limited, I think. There is no worry for the depositors as well as the investors, the shareholders because you should think one thing friends, when they pump in the cash, okay, when they pump in the cash, the investor will invest. Once this structural loan analysis is going to be filled out and once the S Bank Limited is going to be trying to make out of the situation and once the profit is going to come back again, I think the level of value multiplication that the investor can have in S Bank Limited is humongous and people can enjoy a lot in S Bank Limited. And I think already on Friday short sellers would have gained a lot in S Bank Limited. I think I think 80% of gain in one day is a lot amount of gain to so much of investor because that kind of investment strategy and technique cannot be appointed easily in S Bank Limited. S Bank Limited requires patience 
long term investment as we said this and uh, already should know the 10,000 crew IP amount has been set aside the easy machine Canada and has been finalized and now additionally 2450 crores that is going to be infused in S Bank Limited so totally 12,450 crores and also people are expecting that RBI could provide any basic fundamental fund liquidity for S Bank Limited if all these three help S Bank Limited, I think S Bank Limited can move out of situations very easily. Now, the question to my mind is that why SBA and RBA didn't come up to this point dates and now only because we don't want the things to be late because it is always worse to be late in order to move first because in the stock market world and in that investment world, it is not very, very easy to take decisions in a long time because. You could take some importation within a medium term because you are playing with the public money, people money. And now, as we said, the March 14 result is going to come friends. And I think the result is not going to have an impact on, the, on this side because the board has been taken away. Everything has been taken away from S Bank. Limited. It is none other than it's a, it is a bank now controlled by half by RBA, half by SBA, and half by R, I, mean, I mean the full control by the government. So totally there is no worry regarding the result because all is going to adjust around when the cash remain pumped in S Bank Limited. Maybe a sort of year or two years when this share gets the profitability again and starts to improve move again. I think all those things happen and I always say good things for a good investment will definitely happen. These are the super buying chances for S Bank Limited. People ask me, you and if you can buy this level, if I ask fund. If I have fund in my hand, I will definitely buy S Bank Limited because S yes, Bank Limited is not merging with any other banks. S yes, Bank Limited is not going to be delisted. It is going to be trade, but in first time, a bank in a bank and another bank is going to invest a minority stake of around 49 percentage, and the result is on 14 most of the What else do you want, friends? I think this will definitely boost some investor confidence because. We want our investors to have some confidence in these stocks because their capital should not be wasted. Okay, all investors should earn money. And this is about S Bank Limited Funds. And wait till the last one week for results. And I hope it's going to be negative, it's going to be loss again. But the loss quantum should be less. That's what we're praying. So, because obviously that stress load on assets and the book assets has been lowering and the credit rating has been lowering. And this is the main impact that S Bank Limited is going to have on all the investors and I hope that S Bank Limited come out of the situation as quickly as possible and I wish all the investors all the best. See in the video very soon friends.